RV Debs and I are gonna head out to the store. Look at you, you look beautiful today. Ah, go along with you. Now stop it. How are you? <laughs> on camera. You, you what? <laughs> it's weird being on someone else's I know. The other side. It is. Are you ready to have some fun? I'm ready. Yay. Okay, so I'm sure you're familiar with this route. This is the RV Deb route. We're headed out towards town. RV Deb route. I know. She's been, she's, <laughs> Everybody been, goes here. she's been gracious enough to let me ride along as she goes to Walmart. Let me just show you a little bit out here. It's such a beautiful country. I'm glad you could do that because I've never been able to get all of them. Yeah. Yeah, this is all going to be cotton fields. Is it really? It's all cotton fields? Yeah. Well, we're in the deep south. We have, oh, in the cotton fields. I got here when the cotton was fully bloomed. They were ready to roll it up or whatever they do. So RV Debs was just telling me these were all cotton fields here and in the... And they've been mowed down. And then what, what about? What like about like June, late September, September is when they were in full white cotton, puffy, beautiful. And then about a week or so into October, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> they come around and they have this big machine, you know, and it's like a farm machine, of course. And it rolls them. It takes all the all of the cotton, and rolls them in huge big rolls. Wow. And then when you drive for the next couple weeks, you see big rolls on everybody's land. Like that's the next yeah. stage. It's wow. really interesting. And, and then, it's all big rolls of cotton. Yeah. And then, wow. then finally they take them away because they're sold. I guess. And I think those are pecan trees in the distance, the ones that are empty right now. Yep. There's lots of pecan trees that I never saw in my life. Before. Pecans in Alabama. Yeah, so you get cotton and pecans and their soybeans and they grow a lot of stuff, but definitely cotton. Look at all the blues. Yeah. It's very pretty down here. Okay guys, so like I said before, RV Debs has taken me out to show me a little bit of lower Alabama. And um, Deb, you want to tell us what this is? Is this? This is the Mobile Bay. This is beautiful. Yeah, uh, Mobile, see downtown Mobile? I don't, you, the camera probably oh. won't pick it up, but you will. No. Right over here, straight through those trees. Oh, right yeah. Oh my God, you can. It's in yeah. the distance. It is. It's kind of far, but it, when you get over the bridge, it doesn't take long to get there. It's absolutely gorgeous here, Deb. See downtown. Yeah. You've got a pretty little tiki hut over there. Yeah. This is such a sweet place to be. I'm glad I, I'm glad we came. Oh this my god, me too. Hope it's kind of an upscale, arty place compared to like Robertsdale. You know, but that's country. Yeah. This is cool. Cool. This is cool section. Fair hope. Yep. Fair hope. I'm gonna come down here to this butterfly sanctuary. Ah, butterfly sanctuary. Absolutely beautiful. Sorry, I don't have a gimbal. Butterfly. Oh, bluff. Wildflowers. Yeah. In the butterfly sanctuary. I don't know if you can see that. Unfortunately, I can't zoom with the uh, GoPro. You just have to be here though. This is absolutely beautiful. See, this is what this lifestyle is about for me anyway. It's really about being able to have new experiences and see things. And there's the city of Mobile right there, right out by those sailboats. I know you can't see it, unfortunately, but it is so cool to see that here. Wow, absolutely fabulous. Okay, so we are at the Fairhope municipal beach here in lower alabama in fairhope alabama and uh, rv Debs is giving me a, a little bit of a tour today and this has been wonderful i wanted you to see some of the real pretty areas yeah and this is one of them it's just totally beautiful down here we'll go to the end and then we'll turn around and come back by the pier okay a lot of nice I'm still uh, here once Looks like people are having afternoon picnics Sunday. and kids are out playing in the swing. So it's like a and pretty this is cool a place. Winter. Can you imagine in spring what it looks like when it's blooming? I, yeah. 
I keep forgetting it's winter because it feels so nice here. I know, but it's the winter and all the trees are winterized right now. Bear Hope Municipal Pier. It's very windy, so I may end up putting music to this. Deb, this is gorgeous. My camera's probably gonna have a terrible amount of terrible amount of here you guys go. This is what Deb looks like when she's taping. <laughs> she's videotaping. It's too windy though, so I'm gonna have to probably put music to this. RV Debs and I had a great time at the Fairhope Municipal Pier um, this afternoon. Thanks RV Debs for spending the afternoon with me. Um, we got to look at some of the great vistas out there, which was wonderful. And uh, this, there was a young guy playing a guitar and got to listen to some of that music, which was wonderful. He also wants to do the van life, so uh, good for him. Um, we get to see a lot of different sites out there, and it's a beautiful part of the state. So if you ever get a chance to come to Lower Alabama, definitely take a look at the Fairhope Municipal Pier and the Municipal Beach. A uh, great place uh, to bring your family uh, or just to hang out. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe and a thumbs up. Have a great day.